Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dong with the Silver Screen of Review, and this is Dong and Rock with Trigger Happy Habit. Last time we left off, soccer is dead. There, I said it. We're not going to even pretend that it didn't happen. Now, as Kyoko so succinctly described it, we have a locked room situation. We barged our way in here, and she was the only one in here. There's no other way out of the room. As far as we know, there could very well be a vent or one of these panels that you see, one of the blue panels that you see in the background could be uh, an escape hatch. We don't know. I haven't done anything yet. We're, we're starting right back where we left off. So, uh, this is the last one I'm going to do from that. We're going to go until we complete the investigation, until we get to the, um, this sort of a trial. I couldn't remember the name of it. And uh, then that's where I'm calling it for this episode, where I'm calling it for the night, because it's getting late. So, uh, three, two, one, cheers. Okay. Actually, not a lot. Let's just start with this one. This looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? That's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well... Yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found that Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help calm her down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found the big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. After, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. Wow. That's kind of a dick move. You really like them that much. Cause, I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now... They've lost all their flavor. Oh, that's depressing as shit. Polka dot candy wrapper. There are shards of glass scattered all around the chair block we were sitting on. Okay. So this must originally have been a bottle. Well, let's let's clear that. Something else needs the Monokuma chess piece. Okay, so... Let's clear one of these. I saw these earlier. There were four red bottles. There were more here. It's like two are missing. And then each bottle, there's some kind of Monokuma figure. So they're chess pieces. So I see... I see King, Bishop, Rook, and Pawn. So what are we missing? The Queen of the Knight? Or the King of the Knight? I, can't, I think that's the King in the far right. What I'm wondering is, how did they get those figurines? No shit. You build the so... bottle around the figurine, but it's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Uh, you know, where the bottom of- Yeah, because you go and you place the pieces to it. You've never seen that. Yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So just a Monokuma, a Monokuma bottle, if you will. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. Sitting on the shelf. Down on the ground, the red shards probably started out as a bottle, which means Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. That that makes sense. The blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? The same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here. So, I saw... That's it. What is this? This is different, right? Let's let the door out of there. The locker's open. And there on the inside is a handprint? Why? What's that handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. It looks quite fresh, too. I think someone was hiding in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in there until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest Wrong. of the group. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh, did you notice it was open? Oh, okay. I did miss that. Indeed. So there's no way somebody could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. So yeah, so then, what does this handprint mean? Yep. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of a blow to the head Sakura suffered. 
Normally, I wouldn't have any problems believing that she killed her, but according to the Monokuma vial, she also vomited blood. And not just vomited, but violently vomited blood. And I could see a trace of blood on her lips, for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? She hadn't suffered any other injuries. Okay. Maybe her getting on head. Uh, maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. <laughs> Not a chance. Yaka. Yeah. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. It's most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. What else is in here? I think that's everything, right? Oh no, there's shit floor over here. Oh, this is that protein enzyme shit they were talking about earlier. So... It looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Soccer must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I do that. I know. Um... It's on top of the glass. How the hell- is, did it roll over here? M2A. Just a second. That's strange. Hey. Yes. So the glass we punched out. How the hell did that happen? Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. What does that mean? So... Well, because that means that the can wasn't there when we punched through. So either someone moved it here or it rolled or something happened with that. There's a chair that moved. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. The store is the only way in and out of the record. The door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only noticeable change in the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt that the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the door knob from turning and the door from opening, and there was no evidence of the door or the chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the walk room from inside, not from the outside. Should be everything, right? Maybe not. Maybe However... But for Sakura to have been killed, yeah, she's definitely not the type to go it's down the true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand on her? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly, they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. What the heck? Everybody know who did it. <laughs> okay. That's... shut up. You're useless. Oh, wait, you see? Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the red room. Isn't that valuable information you should have told us earlier? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the red room by noon. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it brought from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. She wouldn't listen. She said not to worry that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I had stopped her, by force even, this would never have happened. Hina. It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet her with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same place in time she ended up dying, it might be good to confirm what I just heard, or what I just heard was the three of them directly. What? So, what do you want? You're bothering me. Uh, so hmm. were you here at noon? Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> Then it's true. I did receive a note to that effect, yes, but what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Hmm. Come on. Hmm. If you're all finished, please remove your sight. Hmm, fuck off. Okay. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished your general investigation? Yes, I think so, for the most part. So then... Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't listen leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. Who's this... Which one her and Yakia, man? She's right, I do have to go talk to the other. Sakura wanted to meet these two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Get out of here. Right, whoops. And we're out. So I need... Oh, hello. 
Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Oh, nice. So... Hey, Toko. I'll be friends. God. Hmm? Who, who's there? Ah, oh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. D don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like it, right? Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Tokel slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I wanted to talk to you about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Well... I don't know what you're talking about. Yaka already told me she asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master, too. Oh, I just said two, didn't I? You sure damn well did. I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? I, I admit, I did get the note, but I didn't go to see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Okay, that's two out of three who said they didn't go and talk to her. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back in my room. Good. Get your creepy ass out of here. I don't want to talk to you. And then I think Hero was all the way down here. I pressed the doorbell. And after two seconds. You know? What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how soccer I wanted to meet with you. How, how did you know about that? Could it be? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh um, but I'm not the one. I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Yakuya and Toko to come too. But when did Sakura tell you that? Sakura. What? So you did meet her. Uh, um. Mm, she left you a note. You did see her. Uh oh. How about that? Mm -mm. No, she didn't. No, that's super suspicious. You got it all wrong. Yeah, you totally went and met with her. Actually, last time I saw Ogre's when Hina got hurt, and I took her to the nurse's office. D don't I look at me. Mmm, you're super shady right now. Can you show me the note? Uh, um. Hey, come on. Hmm. That's twice you didn't have notes that you needed to save your life. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh oh, something has fallen out of here in the pocket. The, the candy wrapper? Huh? What? Lucas the wind here snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. Uh-huh. Trash, you say. What? I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So well feel I still think Hero is a fucking moron, and I don't think he's capable of murder, especially like a locked room situation. But I don't know where else we're going with us. The actual crime scene on top of that. And probably back to the chem lab. Um, let us... Chem lab up here, right? Let's start here. I think if we get information here, it would be better. And then we can head back to the body. So there's shit going on in here. Makoto, you have your eye on the chem lab too. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck you, dude. How is- why is this not lighting up? This is clearly important, there's like- fuck- it's- are there footprints right here? God damn it. This is my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. Oh, because we entered, you see. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf, but more important right now, it's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf. I have to be careful not to step in it. Okay, so let's look at- let's start ABC. What's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the record probably came from this shelf. They're labeled with the letter A and the number. So I can guess I can consider this part of the shelf in unit section A. 
There's one bottle here that's labeled 10 C9, which is clearly toxic. And this shop is, it looks like a bunch of chemicals, and I have no idea what they do. They're reagents, but simply they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. Have you lived long? How have you, how have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What? You, you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real That's world? That's fine. The world of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. Whatever, fuck off, dude. Labeled with B and a number. Section B. Okay. On this shelf is one look at it tells nothing but dangerous chemicals. This looks like poisons and other powerful chemicals. And all labels that are seen in a number. You need section C. Looks like it's built or split into three sections. A is dietary, B is reagents, section C is lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerned me is that in section A, there was a bottle with a label from section C. There's a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A. There's definitely something going on here. So was Sakura poisoned? That would kind of explain how somebody was able to do something to her. The broken bottle right in front of the shelf is this where all the powder came from. It looks like the bottle has a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other That's words... That's right, it could only have been around the time of the incident. That really is what happened and must be related to the case somehow. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I better not leave a footprint because somebody else did. These are footprints, and they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to a scene as a whole? We may need to sketch up the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. Insufferable asshole is what he is. What? Let's go, chop chop. Fuck, dude. So I got to work, and before long, I had drawn up a sketch of the room. Uh, so how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. I see. So it looked like somebody walked up. So the powder had to have been spilled beforehand, and somebody walked up to A and left A, is what it looked like. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only. Yeah, exactly. They came in, went straight to the shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's where the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. It's certainly Dakota, possible. Are they yours? No! What? Let me see your shoe, and I'll confirm the size for myself. I, I, yeah, you kind of have to let up. I see your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your fault. Unfortunately, piece of shit. <laughs> but with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. Made some broken bottle, chemistry four, some electrical prints. Got it. Super important right here. Back to the record. Mm -hmm. Record's on third floor? Yeah. Wait. Do I have to go all the way around? Yeah, God damn it. So Makoto, how's your investigation going? Told them what I knew. I see. So along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go to see her. It's all too convenient. Someone and his goddamn hero. Anyway. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the monocle, the shelf of magazines. Okay. The things have revealed new clues. You do well to look them over one more time. This I'm, this I'm curious about. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue some type. Clue, clue. Ooh, upside down magazine. Someone put it back that way on accident. Hey. If someone catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Okay. No one would leave a fucking dying message inside a magazine and then put the magazine back. It's fucking dumb. So it's clearly not Doko. <laughs> No, it's not a dying message. Correct. 
So. No. However. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. Um. It says Toko, right? What the heck? No, Hina, fuck off. I won't forgive you. You're. It not conclusive evidence. What if I just wrote something in her blood right now? Why would you? Why would you, mm, you irritate me? New clue over here. Something new. Something new. Hey. Figure it out. There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay close attention, and you're sure to find it. Are you kidding me? That is that it's chess, and that he doesn't know that. So... I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. It's not just because you don't trust me, right? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that bothers me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Anyway... Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken monocuban bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. That doesn't matter. Okay. She's like, <laughs> not obnoxious, Biakia is not here, so, so then. anyways. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. Yep. Just fucking do it. Go, 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 go. Sorry to keep you so waiting. Then. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. What kind of experiment are we doing? In other words... Is that a scale? Oh, nice. We're going to use it to compare weights. The broken hmm. bottles. That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of, of two of the normal monokuma bottles. It's balanced. In other words... And each monokuma bottle weighs about the same. So then... Here comes the important part. Put all of the pieces you put on one side. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. Okay. So then... Let's give it a try. It's clear there's two bottles missing. Like, that's not... Okay. The broken pieces are heavier because it's more than one bottle. I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words... The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Hey. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. Okay. Something to Just a second. Staring off the space is going to help figure anything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't hey. want to go touching the dead body, you know? Whew. No getting around it. I'm like me. Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although, there's still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used it's to it. It's true. It's totally normal. I'm helping you. So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. Excuse me? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. That's the chemical from the lab. So it's, it's looking more and more like she... She was clearly attacked, but she was also poisoned, it's looking like. Her shoes? Correct. That's the same as the crap out in the, the chem lab. I see. Hey. It's true. It would seem... Wait, what? It appears she didn't suffer a single blow. Oh. Two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting Correct. thing. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either it's one. It's true. I'm not sure what the hands mean. But I understand the the two hits now because of the bottles. So whoever hit her hit her twice. Is that really it? That's a short episode. Whoops! He had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> it's already time, but the mystery of the half or the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. Um, 
Yeah. I'm tempted to go a little bit in class, but nah, nah. Like I said, I'm gonna call it a night. I am. I, I just realized, like, as I like start moving around, I'm like, man, I am, I am tired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. But uh, we are gonna call it quits, guys. Until this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and thank you for watching another episode of Dominic Rocker Trigger Happy Habit. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are ready for another class trial, leave a like down below, which we know you appreciate the content, you can more of it, all the good jazz. Any comments, criticisms, suggestions, critiques, leave it down in the comments section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.